I stepped outside and decided to take a morning walk and was instantly reminded why I haven't been taking my morning walks because it is freezing. Actually, not really. Like, it's not snowing or like heck of cold, but it's California type of freezing. So, you know, I'm a baby. I can't handle this cold. I've been trying out some new BCAAs. I decided to give in to the influencer pressure and get Alani new. I've been trying it out. This one is the BCAAs in the flavor Sour Peach Rings. And it tastes like sour peach rings and it's pretty good. I, was, I am still trying to find some BCAAs that are natural and don't have like artificial ingredients in them like the artificial artificial sweeteners and stuff this one does have it um, but it also has pretty simple ingredients too it has like the citric acid natural and artificial flavors of course what I don't like is the silica and the uh, sucralose. It also has like turmeric and beetroot extract. And I think that's just for the color, but it's been pr tasting pretty good. What I do is I use my funnel and I just funnel it into a big bottle like this and then shake it all up and it's been really good. If you have a tough time at getting your water intake throughout the day, I would suggest, first of all, just making sure that you carry around a water bottle with you. Uh, whether that's like a hydro flask or regular bottle like this. For some reason, bottles in the shapes of these or in like the blender bottle shapes make me want to drink water more. So find you a good water bottle, first of all. And second of all, I would also suggest spicing it up with maybe some BCAAs, um, like aminos or... Um, flavors so things that are like obviously not sugary like those artificial sugary fruit punch drinks and stuff like that not necessarily spicing it up with that uh, but maybe spicing it up with like lemon or uh, like other zero calorie flavor thingies but like lemon cucumber mint some strawberries things like that um, make some like fruit infused water I would say it kind of helps give you something like some type of flavor. I've been finding that it's been a little bit harder for me to drink water these past few months. I don't know why. I just feel more like full and bloated and so I just haven't been drinking my eight cups that I really have made a goal to do and I've been doing a good job at that thus far. Uh, so I've been doing more around like six cups ish a day which is not terrible but I want to get back into the groove of that so I wanted to get some BCAs that I really really liked that would make it easier for me to just drink water all day so yeah I wanted to in a very raw and real and calm setting talk about um being patient with your blessings now I know for me personally, patience is not something that comes easily for me. <laughs> um, I kind of have been an impatient person, especially with things that I want. Like now, I want them instantly. And especially in our culture today, it could be kind of hard to exercise patience when we're used to everything coming fast. Like we have Amazon Prime, which is like the two-day shipping, next-day shipping, instant gratification through social media, and everything is just happening at a very... There is a plane. I feel like this plane is like not passing and it's just hovering in one area. But yeah, so everything is happening at a much more rapid pace um, nowadays, and I think we kind of forget that patience is a thing. If there is anything that I've learned from this post-grad journey of being out of school for exactly, wow, yeah, uh, one year. I graduated from SF State um, last year in December. Um, I graduated a semester early, so I went for three and a half years 
and I guess today would pretty much mark the one year because I would be finishing finals last week. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> uh, it's kind of crazy to think that a year has flown by. But if I've learned anything from being one year postgrad, it's definitely patience because I think we all have this idea that as soon as you graduate, you're going to get this dream, drop, dream job or you're going to travel or you're going to instantly make more money or your degree is going to be suddenly very significant in your everyday life. I mean, it's good to have goals and to set goals and to work hard to achieve them, obviously. But um, I really learned that sometimes things don't just happen that quickly, especially um, just even with one year after graduating, I felt like I would achieve a lot more. But I realized that though I have come far and I've grown every single day, it's not like I've made a big leap or anything. Um, I still feel like a year passed by and I didn't really, not much has changed. Um, I'm still working at the same job that I was working at when I, uh, when I graduated. I still have my couple of side businesses that are, you know, get in there. Um, I'm still working out and going to the gym consistently. I'm still living in the same place, living with my parents, like there's not much that has significantly changed. And I just wanted to tell you guys that that's okay because it takes time, like you have to be patient. You can't just think that you're gonna accomplish the world in one year. Is it possible for things to change drastically in a year? Yes. But I feel like you just have to be patient with your blessings and know what's for you is going to come to you. It just might not come that quickly or in the the time span that you gave yourself, you know. So what I mean? be patient with yourself, be forgiving with yourself. I'm not coming on here to preach because know that not everything is going to come when you expect it. Keep on as long as you're trying and putting in effort every day, eventually something's going to happen. Like and besides that, um I hope everybody has been enjoying this holiday season. Hope you guys have been enjoying this Vlogmas series. This is the last vlog of Vlogmas and that is crazy. But I will say I have been enjoying posting a little bit more frequently, posting these two videos a week. I think this was the little bit of motivation I needed um, and I feel like I want to continue doing it at this rate. I mean, I don't really do New Year's resolutions per se, but if there's any resolution that I'm going to make, I'm going to make the goal of like keeping up with posting regularly to this channel. I think that's a pretty fair goal. Thank you again for tuning in and for any new subscribers I gained or new viewers. I know most of the people that watch my channel aren't even subscribed so go ahead just click that subscribe button already like and yeah like I said this is the last video of vlogmas and next video will be in 2020 kind of excited I think it's just because that year has like a good ring to it like it just it just feels right I feel like everybody's on one accordance with it too like it's like a common agreement that next year is gonna be a great year I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there now. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next year. Peace.